Hurry! You gotta help me. My boat is sinking. What? My boat is sinking. You have a boat? Yes, I bought a boat last year at a police auction. I just got a call from a guy down to the marina that is leaning starboard at a 45 degree angle. If I don't get down there right now, it's gonna capsize. Now, come on! <laughs> Your boat is sinking. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Great. It, it's just a wedding. Who cares what people wear? Say yes to the suit! I can't! I can't! <laughs> you dumped a porn star? <laughs> Friendship over. Friendship over! Okay, yes, Judy and I aren't besties, but today, whatever she needs, I'm there. I'm on Judy duty. <laughs> Judy duty. She said duty. <laughs> really, guys? At a funeral? Barney's phone, Teddy Westside speaking. My phone, I am taking it back. And I'm taking your cool nickname, too, Barney Westside speaking. No, 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 I love it so much, it just keeps ringing and ringing and ringing. Hey, Give it, baby. Give it, it to me. It's, it's off. It's mine now. It's mine now. Not your phone, Lily. No, no, no. No, no, no. no. Now, even though she puts up a tough exterior, what Robin really wants, deep down... I'm bored. You said you wanted my help. Can we drop boobs on the chalkboard? We did that already. No, like really big boobs. If Robin's beaver devours six inches of wood every half hour, and Jessica's beaver devours eight inches of wood every 45 minutes, how much wood will I need to keep both of these beavers well-fed all weekend long? <laughs> Oh man, left. I'm totally blanking. Make the L's with your hands. Oh, we're not gonna make it. Oh, I don't know why I'm turning the radio. We're gonna die. Tell me what to do, Ted. Relax. You're being crazy. Help me, Ted. Help me, Ted. I'm being serious. Stop dropping the being serious. Tell me what to do. Tell me what to do now. It's not good. No. Get your coat, we're leaving. What? What happened to that, uh, cutlet you were grinding with? That was my cousin, Leslie. <laughs> what? No, no, no. We are not laughing about this, Ted. This is not gonna be some funny story that we'll be telling in a couple months. It's not gonna be like, hey, ha, remember that time when you were grinding with, no. You wanna judge a fellow human being based solely on one external characteristic? That's racism. And I do not drink with racists. Good day. You're just waiting for me to speak so you can enter. I said good day! I wish I could marry commitment. <laughs> I met a girl last night. Really? So perky and full of life and not at all fake. You're talking about her boobs, right? See, si. And that wasn't Spanish. That was cup size. What up? <laughs> <laughs> so these boobs. Hmm. Paint me a word picture. All right, Ted. Imagine the heads of two Irish babies. Mm. Let's call them... And please stop. I went to the danger zone. I'm gonna take it right into the danger zone. No, no, not again, not this year. You're going as my wingman. Flight suit up. She said she works with Carlos. Who's Carlos? I don't know any Carlos. <laughs> Hi, you. You're back. I sure am. Mm. Oh. Come on, sweetie. I need a drink. Sweetie? Really? <laughs> so, it's over between me and works with Carlos girl. Whoa, that was fast. Yeah. I was trying to think, what's the quickest way to get rid of a girl you just met? I think I'm in love with you. What? Thanks, bro. Whoa. Flared nostril ridges. Wide, unblinking eyes. If you ever, ever see this face, Barney, run. And don't take a picture of it. She will punch you and you will cry. For the third time that night. The truth is, my friend, he does this thing where he goes to airports with fake luggage to pick up girls. And we followed some here to Philadelphia. That, that, that's it. That, that's all this is. Nobody's that lame. Yes, he's that lame. Tell him you're that lame. We are international businessmen. Oh, come on. I need you to help me pick the suit I'm gonna wear when I walk down the aisle. Okay, Robin walks down the aisle. You wait at the end of it. Okay, then the suit I'll be wearing when they all stand as I enter the chapel. That's also her. Really? Man, the fellas sure do get boned in the whole wedding thing, don't they? Mothers, lock up your daughters. Daughters, lock up your milswankas. 
Mil Swankas. Oh, wait, I can get this. Mothers, I'd like to sleep with and never call again. Forget I said anything. No, 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 no. We're having this discussion. Architecture is my life's work. Why don't you quit your job? I don't even know what it is you do for a living. What it is I do for a living? I work, Ted, 14 hours a day so that our baby can have food and clothes and a nice house while you sit around doodling pictures of buildings. That's what it is I do. You know what? Screw this. I'm gonna go to the bar. Yeah, right, right, because the answer is always at the bottom of a bottle. She's gonna teach me how to do a rain dance. Did you just say a rain dance? Yes. A rain dance? Yes. A dance to make it rain? Yes. Admit it, you're having fun. Ah, maybe. <laughs> it was pretty funny when that little girl fell over that space barrel. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, walk of shame, walk of game, what up? Remember the place where I stole the blue French horn for Robin? Oh, right, that was you. I knew that was somebody I knew. What? Dude, you were there. That was like a big, iconic moment in all of our lives. Maybe in your life. I got a lot of stuff going on. Come on, let's get out of here. This night's a disaster. What? This night couldn't have gone any better. We just survived the mugging. You know what that means. Thank God we're alive, sex. Thank God we're alive, sex. Dude, two girls are fighting at McLaren's. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was crazy. This one girl was like... Oh, hey. You've got your own wings now. Mm. <laughs> Since you and Robin split, you've been gestating. <laughs> growing in your cocoon. And last night... You burst out of that cocoon like a, like a majestic, ah, uh, garsh. What is it that comes out of a cocoon? I was always bad at science. He's gonna say it. A butterfly? <laughs> Ted, will you take it easy? I'm your bro. You're an animal. And even though our bro relationship has suffered its setbacks in this area, I assure you I will be the perfect gentleman. Oh, thanks. By the way, I really like those overalls. You have 10 minutes to get down here or the window's closing. 10 minutes? Yeah, because we're bros. I hate Barney Stinson! Me too! Barney, this isn't Barney. But I hear that guy's awesome. All right, listen very carefully. You will get your stuff back if you are able to complete a series of challenges. Meet me at McLaren's in an hour. How will I know who to look for since we've never met? I look like Barney. What's with the face? It's half your pathetic, half I have to pee. So go to the bathroom. No, there's a huge line. I don't want to miss the slutty pumpkin. So pee off the roof. Ooh, Ted, pee off the roof. Whoa, I wouldn't do that if I were you. There's people walking down there. Come on, Ted. Who are you going to listen to? Me or Mr. Goody Goody over there? Yeah, whatever. You guys got some weed? Are you kidding? I want you to call me that. You really think this is going to work? So I think what's gonna work? I'm just saying I love my new name, so please only call me that from now on. Call you what? You know, that's that new name that you've been calling me. Say it. Why? You guys know what it is. Say the name. No, I don't want to! I hate it! I hate it! It's not funny! It's never been funny! I've never done any... No! I'm sticking with the hanging chat. Oh, you're dangerous, Maverick. Your ego is writing checks your body can't cash. Wait, are they chanting bro? I got some local monks to record this. Yeah, I got a monk guy. Cool, right? It actually is, yeah. <laughs> I'll burn it for you. Just remind me about it after the broth.